Hi guys, um, so we get a lot of questions, what do we burn in our smokers when we, when we work on hives? So we like to use cardboard, so you, you can use anything that is dry and that can burn. Some guys use pine needles, some guys use dry leaves, uh, dry grass, I know some guys even use hessian. So whatever works for you. What I found is that the cardboard, it's extremely easy to light. All you need is a cartridge that'll fit inside your, your smoker, depending on the size of your smoker. Most smokers are standard size. Also, we like to use a stronger smoke simply because we, we're working with the African honeybee, um, Apis mellifera scutellata, which is, is naturally more defensive, more so than um, your, your, your American honeybees, your Italian honeybees. So yeah, we, we like to use something that's a, a little bit stronger. So we just use, take a standard box. I don't even know what was in this box. Anyway, a standard cardboard box, and we just open it up, and we roll it up. So we like to use this um, standard, I don't know if you call it masking tape, boxing tape, whatever, uh, just to wrap it up because it burns as well. So you'll just take your entire box, so you want to roll it as tight as you can. Um, but not too much so that it, it can't uh, breathe, it can't get oxygen through the smoker because that's what you want to keep your burn. And obviously not, not too thick that it doesn't fit in, into your smoker. Well, there's your whole box rolled up. So we should be able to get between six and eight cartridges out of this. So let's go cut them up. You can either use a table saw or you can use a carpenter saw, hacksaw, whatever. Anything that'll cut this up into sections for you. So we're going to use the table saw. Safety first, watch the fingers. Got five cartridges out of that box. So we're here in the apiary, um, we're just going to go through one of the hives quickly. So let's just show you guys how we light the smoker. So we find this is easier, quicker, especially when you're going through a lot of hives, you need to work quickly. Um, we use a, just a blowtorch. You can use a standard lighter uh, to actually light the, the cardboard if you have to, if matches if you have to, whatever. But if we find that a blowtorch, because it transports nicely in the toolbox, uh, works, works nice to light the cardboard just quickly, easily. So you'll see the side that I'm, I'm lighting uh, the, the cardboard will be the side that goes down so that it burns up. So because of the lack of oxygen in the smoker, it doesn't actually burn with flames, it just burns, it just smolders, which is what we want. So you can see when it's burning like that, once it goes in, start smoking, give it a few puffs, and there it goes. So uh, we have been asked, you know, we're not concerned about the chemicals in the cardboard. Uh, so we've been using cardboard for over four years now. Um, and we, we work on bees every day. And we never had an issue with the bees. We find they recover really quickly. But it's strong enough to just keep them in a calm enough state so that we can actually work with them. The, the bees we work with here in South Africa, it's the uh, Apis mellifera scutellata, which is the Africanized honeybee and they are, are known to be really defensive at times. This time of year, they're, they're particularly defensive. That's just because they are, are feeding on a type of pollen which just makes them far more alert, and they just are more defensive. They have uh, large populations at the moment, and they have between six and eight, even nine frames full of, of brood, capped un and uncapped brood, and that just makes them particularly defensive. So let's go and have a look. This colony, uh, yeah, it has been known to be particularly defensive. But you'll note as I approach the, the, the colony, I smoke the guards immediately. There's, there's obviously many theories, but it's thought that smoke in the hive 
the bees believe that there's a fire uh, coming, so they gorge themselves on, on honey just to have enough resources to be able to fly far if they need to swarm. That's the one, the one theory. Also, when once bees have have gorged themselves on honey, they struggle to to bend, flex into the position to to sting. That's the other the other theory. Also, the theory that that makes the most sense is that the smoke breaks the, the the chain of communication amongst the bees. So what it does is that alarm pheromone that the guards normally signal to the rest of the colony is not there. They're un unable to get that alarm pheromone to the rest of the colony, so it creates confusion in the colony. But within five to 10 minutes, the colony is, is back to work as usual. Okay, so we've given them quite a bit of smoke at the, at the entrance. There's even some coming out the back here. So what I like to do is go around the back of the hive and just crack the lid open. Just enough to get the nozzle of my smoker in so I can smoke into the back of the the hive. That sort of just drives the bees down into the brood box again. This hive has got a super on it. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there are a few bees trying to sting me. They are fairly defensive. But not like if you had to just open this hive without any smoke, you'd be covered in bees. Your entire veil would feel like you have a, a hailstorm on the front of your, of your veil. You wouldn't be able to see or hear anything and they'd be stinging me through my, my suit. So at least in this sort of state, we can work with them. As you'll notice, once you've smoked the bees and closed the hive and walked away, gone and worked on other hives, when you come back and open that, that hive after five minutes, those bees are fully alert again and will most certainly be very defensive. Smoking your bees is not inhumane. Definitely recommend smoking your bees regardless of what type of bees you work with because they sting your, your gloves or sting your suit. They, you know, those bees are dying. Minimizing their, their desire to sting and their defensiveness is definitely a, a, a much better thing. So I hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if, if you have any ideas of fuel to use in smokers, please leave it in the comments below. We're always uh, curious to hear what other people are doing and uh, how, how other people do things. See you guys next time. Cheers.